Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry. This Sith Lord is a metalhead. Hope everybody's doing good on today, Saturday, March 5th, 2022. Alright, everything seems to be going well. New York is starting to come back. Um, things are fading away with this bitch-ass pandemic. Things are opening up. And I'm just uh, glad to see that things are going back to some normalcy and things will get back to normal, you know, maybe back to the theaters and back to this and, you know, just get things going again, um, you know. But unfortunately, we go from a pandemic now to a war, you know, and, um, you know, my heart goes out to um, all those Ukrainians out there who are suffering, uh, you know, with that invasion. Uh, I hope everything goes well. I hope that war ends. And I hope things could, uh, you know, get back to some, get back to normal for those guys. I really do. All right, but <clears throat> let's talk some, uh, some, some new Star Wars news. Um, first off, there was, um, there was an article that went around uh, that basically was talking about uh, Tamara Morrison. I guess he didn't quite appreciate the whole thing about um, him. When he first came out as Boba Fett in The Mandalorian, where they were talking about basically they were fat shaming him. They were calling him Boba Fat. <clears throat> and, you know, it's kind of messed up. You know, I mean, look, the man is at that time 59, 60 years old. I mean, I'm sure he tries to keep himself in some, you know, works out some way. I mean, but, I mean, yo, what do you expect, man? I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you know, we, we yeah, look, I'm I'm four, I'm gonna be 48 years old. I am not the best man in shape, but you know I do what I can. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we do what we can. All right. There shouldn't have been any of that. I mean, look, the man got the role, and uh, from my understanding, he went and he took that. I guess he took it kind of personally when and uh, started working out and got himself into some better shape. You know, for the role, which you know it, it turned out pretty well. I say it did. It's, it's really fucked up though, but. You know, hey, hey, you know how things are, especially with the internet now, man. You you know, you do something weird, people are going to blast it out everywhere. And that's just the way it is, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that, that was that. I mean, uh, hopefully, uh, I guess he's just going to keep on doing his stuff. We don't know what's going to happen with Boba Fett. Um, well, I guess they're going to do it. I don't know if they're going to do a second season. I'm sure he's going to be popping out Mandalorian Season 3. Uh, but, you know, we'll see how it goes from there. Okay? Um... Also, uh, there's a new book coming out called Padawan. Uh, it's about Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, it was written by Claudia Gray. Uh, you know, Miss Claudia Gray. Yeah, she, so it's, uh, it's coming out. And, you know, my understanding, it looks like something that might be pretty decent. It's basically Obi-Wan who was real young uh, in his earlier, earlier days as a Padawan. And um, I think it takes him into a different area about him interacting with people his age and seeing how vulnerable he was. And, uh, yeah, you know, I think I might give it a, I give it a read, you know. Um, I mean, so a lot of those books weren't, weren't bad. Um, but we'll see. You know, it looks good. You know, I mean, um, especially now with, with the Obi-Wan Kenobi show coming out, I'm sure they want to try to push... Any little thing that they can with uh, Obi Wan, and you know, through comics or through books, you know, we got the series coming out, uh, merchandise, whatever, whatever they could get, you know, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna make their money. So you know, that's that's just the way Disney is. You know, that's it's it's them marketing every little thing they can to try to push out a product. So we'll see how that goes. Um, also, there's been speculation going on about. Um, Anakin and Obi Wan for the show. That um, for, you know, as far as um, Hayden Christensen and Liam Neeson, they're gonna de-age them. So the assumption is, is with the de-aging, is usually it's gonna probably be some flashback scenes, of course. Um, and we're thinking it's gonna go back to some Clone Wars times. So what we're speculating, or why I'm speculating, and maybe a few other people are doing the same thing, is that they're gonna go back during that Clone Wars time where we're going to actually hopefully see Obi-Wan and Anakin in their armor. That dope-ass armor they had in the in the Clone Wars cartoon. I would love to see it live action. I think that would be awesome. Um, you know, like I said, there's a lot of speculation with that. I mean, it would just be so cool to see how that goes. Um, there was also some slight rumor about Maul 
don't know how how well that's gonna go into it, but you know, because I mean, it would still fit in regardless if they want to do flashbacks and stuff. Um, so I, I don't know how they're gonna how they're gonna fit that in there, but it, you know, a, a, so far every little thing that's going on seems to be going pretty well. You know, May twenty fifth is is not too far away. We're just about <clears throat> two months and two weeks away, and um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm sure everybody else is. Uh, you know, I can't wait. I, I really do. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the fact that these episodes are going to be de uh, decent runtime. So we're talking about a, almost an hour per episode. And that's going to be awesome. That's going to be really, really cool. Okay. Um, also, another Star Wars uh, related TV show is The Bad Batch. Now, I don't know what happened. Um, for some reason, they, they the slot they had was supposed to be coming out May the 4th. Um... All of a sudden, now it's not there. Now it's just it, for some reason it got pushed. They never really gave a date. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm I'm a little upset because I was looking forward to seeing this, the the second season of the Bad Batch, but I found it strange, and a few people did too, that they weren't showing any any uh, trailers. Uh, they weren't really giving out no information. There was no promotion, nothing. So I mean, it was supposed that that show should have been out before Obi Wan. And it wasn't getting no airplay. So they're still not really talking about it. If you think, you know, it's nothing really put out. So it looks like it might get pushed. I mean, there's a good chance that, that the Bad Batch might just get pushed all the way down to, uh, I'm going to say maybe before Man uh, Mandalorian Season 3. Uh, because right now we'll get Obi-Wan. We're going to get Andor, I think, afterwards. I mean, if they play it the way they've been doing it, with it's basically every two months. So we're looking at what? Uh... May 25th comes out, Obi-Wan. We're getting six episodes. So that's going to be finished by what? Uh, beginning of July. We'll get Andor. Uh, maybe in August. Maybe August, September. Then after that, you know, December is Mandalorian. Maybe they could provide a sneak, sneak in Bad Batch in between that. I don't know. I mean, Bad Batch, I think, has a, a decent amount of episodes. So maybe they'll push it for Jan, you know. Maybe the end of um, season three of The Mandalorian. Who knows? But uh, we'll see how that goes. I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I'm really, I, I'm actually looking forward to the Bad Batch. It left us on a little bit of a cliffhanger at the end, so I've been really dying to see what else is going to happen there. Uh, you know, to see what's going to go on with the rest of the Bad Batch and Omega and all that. Um, but we'll see, right? I guess all, that's all we can do. Is we'll see, right? Uh, also. Um, this this came in. Um, they said that they I think they're finally doing something as far as replacing uh, Gina Carano slash Cara Dune's character in upcoming shows. Um, now people were saying that they were gonna replace, uh, re like recast Gina Car Carano's Car uh, Cara Dune. They're not gonna do that. Okay. Um, what they're doing is they're gonna just. I guess bringing a whole other character, and uh, the, the actress that's going to be playing her is Mary Elizabeth Winston, Winston. and uh, basically she, they're going to, I guess, make a character for her. She's going to replace Cara Dune's character, and you know, I guess they they're going to put her in somehow, uh, whatever you know, shitty story they want to put in to say whatever, but. That's what I guess they're going to do with her. So, I mean, a lot of people were, were putting it out there that she's basically being recast as Cara Dune. And that's not the case. Um, I don't think Cara Dune will ever be replaced. I mean, uh, 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 you know, be recast. I think they're just going to probably do away with a character. They'll probably think of something later. Maybe give her a, a, a nice death story or something. But, yeah, this, this actress is, is going to have her own character. And they're going to just stick her in somehow, and there you go. Okay? I, I'm not, I don't know too much about this cat, about this actress. I know she's been in a few movies and stuff like that, but, you know, look, whatever. I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I, I don't really, you know, I'm not getting too excited about it because, you know, I really wanted everything to go the way it was, it was going accordingly before, but, you know, it is what it is with Disney, right? So, anywho. <laughs> We'll see how it goes from there. And also, I wanted to clear up some things. Um, some people uh, who were asking me about, you know, my content, right? 
Um, I basically do. I mean, I, 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 I'm more strictly Star Wars with a lot of my stuff, but I do talk about other things relating, you know, into uh, other stuff because I am a fan of you know Marvel, DC, uh, other sci-fi things, you know, Godzilla. I, I love, you know, I love all that. So you know, sometimes I will throw in some stuff in there. And um, <clears throat> my last video, I had a title where I said Hugh Jackman is uh, coming back to the MCU. Was coming to the MCU or coming back? No, I said Hugh Jackman was coming back because I couldn't really I was trying to fit everything I can into the spaces in there, you know. And some people got confused and thought I was saying that Hugh Jackman was going to be in a Star Wars film or some type of Star Wars show. And I was like, no, 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 that's not what it was. I was taught, you know, basically there was a rumor that Hugh Jackman's Wolverine will probably be in um, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse, Multiverse of Madness too. Um, I gave a whole theory on why I felt that way, and that's why I put that in there. Um, you know, so I just wanted to get that, <laughs> get that out of the way. So whoever is watching this, when I put these up on, you know, when I throw this out there and I share it on a bunch of Facebook pages and you guys actually check it out. I want, uh, you know, again, thank you for checking it out. Uh, don't get confused. Um, you know, look, you know, Dr. Strange is coming out. That's that, that I'm a big Marvel person too. When it comes to certain things, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, there's rumors about the Illuminati, but not rumors. There's, it looks like everything is pointing at the Illuminati, you know, with, uh, Professor X, Mr. Fantastic. Um, I'm hoping to see the Samariner there and, you know, Everybody else who's involved with the Illuminati uh, it would be interesting. It would be interesting. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, just to clear that up to a lot of you guys out there, you know, if you ever see me put anything about, you know, uh, I talk about Anakin Skywalker and then I say something to the effect of, oh, yeah, and um, Doctor Strange, blah, blah, blah. I don't think that Doctor Strange is going to be in a Star Wars film. Or something like that you know it's just I try to put what I can in there just to give the amount a decent amount of information just to catch some wind okay but that's it and also <clears throat> I wanted to share something funny <laughs> the other day I was taking out um, I just got a leather jacket I haven't worn for a little while so I was checking out you know, I had some stuff in my pocket and I said for a while it's been a while I found this old ticket stub when I ran to go see <laughs> the Last Jedi. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I went at um, what time was it? Oh, I went at nine thirty in the morning. I d I uh, basically didn't work that day. It's me, my daughter, my brother, and one of my good friends. Uh, we basically, you know, we went to the Alamo movie theater. We had one of the Alamo breakfasts that they have there. You know, for people who go to the movies early. We was excited. Um, you know, look, excited because, you know, look, The Force Awakens, when it came out, it gave us hype, you know? It gave us some type of Star Wars. I mean, we, we tried to figure, you know, we, we were going in with what we can with it, right? But, okay, you know, they, they, they showed us what they showed us, and then they left us with a little cliffhanger. So we were like, okay, you know, now we're finally going to get Luke Skywalker, we're going to get this. We're going to get that. We were all speculating. There was so many speculations, video videos going out before The Last Jedi. And then we go see the movie and you, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't have any more words. That, that, you, you, you know, you can see that, that. That was my morning. I remember that day, too. It was a bitterly cold day and it was a bitterly cold day coming out of that theater after watching that shit. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much that was my thing with that, and I, I just thought I'd share this with you guys. Uh, I thought it was pretty funny that I still had that in my jacket after all this time. I just you know somewhere in my pocket, I just happened to pull it out, didn't even realize it was there. But yeah, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, look. Also, please do me a favor, like, subscribe to my channel after you've watched this. You know, give me a thumbs up. I you know I appreciate it. Also, don't forget. I have a merch uh, merch store on Facebook, uh, the Sith Lords merch. Uh, this is actually not one of mine's. Okay, this I picked up. Uh, I forgot where I picked this up. It just happened, you know. But I do have other merch. Uh, people who've seen me on my, uh, you know, know, seen some of the shirts I have. The Sith Lords Metalhead. I have uh, other shirts. I have uh, my, my other channel, uh, that Goat Metal Show. So let me know. I'd be glad to hook you guys up with a deal. Message me. We'll work out a great deal. 
you know, springtime's coming. I'm sure you're going to want to have yourself some nice, fresh shirts to go and support, and it'll be great. All right, guys, that's it for now. Uh, please uh, leave me a comment and so on. Let me know what you guys think about certain things. Uh, if there's anything you want me to check out, put it in the comments, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, this is Barry. This Sith Lord is a metalhead. May the Force be with you.